actually you heard from uh, uh, their in, uh, meeting call that, as Mr. Shamil says, uh, STEM stands for some subjects. So, but here I'm trying to explain and get your um, information about it. So, as you know, uh, STEM, some the combination of the, some of the subjects. You're welcome. Yeah, uh, it is S stands for science. Science. Yes. T stands for technology. 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 Engineering. Engineering. Math. 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 We have actually bumper which is added uh. not newly after STEM is made. Yeah, it is A. Uh, sometimes it's written like sphere alpha, um, but sometimes STEM plus A. Both the versions are possible. But uh, what does it mean A? Uh, possibly, you know. Uh, Art, yeah, of course. And why do we need art? Actually, art is used, uh, that's integral part of technology while trying to create something. Of course, we need uh, some design. So in this way, we are trying to make our art objects. So, um, would you please pass it? Next one. Okay. Uh, in what way STEM helps us? Possibly you have some reasons. For example, if we make an object, if we design something, it can contribute to us a lot. But in what ways? Just let's try to learn about it uh, better. So it helps us to solve our problems better and to be much more creative and to analyze everything critically and to work better as a team and to think independently, which is really important, I think, having you knowledge just standards to rely on, but actually, this much more better, every student individually trying to think. So and, and yeah, yeah, that's much more better, because if they don't so make any uh, information, if they don't have their own backgrounds and information, they wouldn't learn trying uh, to have interest to learn anything, actually. So that's the reason it's really important to have their own thoughts and to express them uh, independently. So, and to be much more initiative, it also makes them to be much more interested with the lesson. So, to be better, uh, to communicate better, actually, and to have digital literacy. So, um, now, uh, but, but most of the most of the ESL teachers having problems or possible, they think like it's complicating to integrate uh, this STEM with uh, English lessons. Why they think so? Possible that's new uh, curriculum area. That, so it just you're welcome. It's not a, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, why it's difficult? It could be somehow challenging for them. Uh, as something is new, it makes always think, people think, uh, you know, just uh, can I try to, you know, integrate it through my lessons or not? But uh, of course, everything possible, as you know, even as uh, you heard there in meeting call, everything is possible. If it comes to our mind, of course, why not? Why not to try? Actually, nothing will burst unless we do. So today, uh, we're gonna have uh, some examples from our lessons, please. Uh, yeah, uh, we mostly I try to integrate STEM through my science uh, parts of uh, into my lessons. So you will see uh, here some examples from my uh, English lessons, which is integrated through geography. Just which is science is called, and the students try, by the way, sorry, please. Yeah, uh, they made these objects, as you see here, uh, with eggshells, try to make with eggshells, while they're having, to eat, uh, having their breakfast, it came to their mind to make the planets from these objects. Even we don't waste anything, we are trying to use them in our lessons. So, and they could be some paper, which is not, um, for example, they did they think like, but actually they can uh, try to make a ball and try to make at the same time, uh, trying to make the different, you know, the kind of balls in order to make uh, planets, just to say, or different objects. Here are some examples from uh, history, yeah, history lessons. So they try to make with clay some of the soldiers. You're welcome. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, they tried to integrate through history, one more please, which were existing in uh, China. 
So they try, the students try to make these soldiers so they can learn it better actually. They can, much more, they can be much more initiative in order to learn. So, oh, please, okay, so at the same time what was really interesting, as you see from the previous one, please, yeah, I tried to <laughs> show you the art, art piece of my, you know, clothes, clothes. Uh, I tried just to take a material and try to put on, so I made a piece <laughs> in order to be, you know, to have some uh, people to be much more visual. So they can concentrate better and they can be really interesting, breathless, they try to listen to me at the same time. Yeah, one more please. So here uh, some other teacher, uh, English teacher actually trying to integrate through chemistry. Uh, they made some experiments uh, in order to, to, I think it was about the solid, gas and liquid. They trying to make some experiments through balance or through some of the even um, but uh, some of the different kinds of uh, sand materials in order to integrate this his chemistry actually and so they use whatever else so that's enough about our examples actually we can integrate through different subjects as you see today we are going to integrate through technology so uh, we will see that how we can integrate through technology. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, today, as you know, the name of our lesson is traveling to the future. Let's see if we can travel here to the future. So, how we can travel to the future? Uh, we will talk about it later. Not now. Okay. Okay. So, how we can travel to the future. Let's see, uh, please, Mr. Muhammad. Yeah, uh, it's our motivation part. So, what do you see? What's common in the photos? Transport. Transport, yeah. Transportation means actually, as you see, by a plane and a car. All our transportation means. And why do we need transportation means? You're welcome, Mr. Ben. Sorry? For traveling, actually, yeah, right? Yeah, just actually while traveling, what happens? Faster. Just faster, slow, doesn't make any difference. While you're traveling, what do we do? You know that from one place to another place. Yeah, from one place to another place. What's other place is called? What's that other place is called? Would you please? Yeah, that's destination. In order to yeah, reach our, our destination. So here we are. Here is our car. Imagine like we are inside. So when we try to move, making any movement, we try to reach out our destination, which is green as here, as you see. So. Uh, let's see how we can uh, express future tense, which is our destination. So in English, actually, as you know, as you know, there are two cases in order to explain, uh, to talk about the future actions in English. So what is uh, to, to be going to and a second is will. And how we can express this will and to be going to, we are going today to learn about it. So please, uh, first case we're going to talk about will. Yeah, and uh, as you see, we are here, we are here, and now when we try to travel, we don't have any plan. We are just randomly trying to get out from our place and to travel and to just no uh, uh, any green light as you see here. So we just randomly trying to travel. And if we visit anywhere randomly while, our, uh, while traveling to the future, that's uh, the way to express with will. And in what other ways we can use will, please? Yeah, no, but that's one actually. Okay, here we are. Now, uh, we can use will uh, to express uh, offers, threats, promises, predictions, just predictions without any what? Proof. 
without any evidence, just proof, uh, just predictions, warnings, requests, hopes, fears, and on the own spot decisions we can use. Will. We just decided to do something, so we will use will. So okay, and you can have some questions like uh, at the same time we can use shall, yeah, but. Actually, this is really different, but sometimes it's sort of like in modern days, but actually, shall is not used. It's not this way. Shall is used, shall also has cases to use, some stations to use. Shall can be used in question sentence, uh, in such Suggestion. for, yeah, for suggestions and for offers, and when asking for advice. Shall I do something in order to get advice from somebody else? So shall is used only in this case, with first person singular and plural. Yes, please. And here we are, the second case, that's to be going to, and uh, in what ways we can use uh, to be going to. As you know, we are here now, but uh, before we travel and we reach our destination, we have some decision made beforehand. We have our plan. So before, before traveling, before uh, making just one spot decision, we actually decide what to do. We decide where to go. We have some intention actually to travel to the future. And now uh, we will see that in this case we can use um, to be going to. To be going to is used for future plans, for intentions, for predictions based on what we can see, which is proof that evidence that is going to be. For example, we can see just uh, clouds, so it means that there's going to be uh, rain there. So it's going to rain, as we have got proof. But if we don't have proof, this is just prediction. For example, we see like we feel some doubt. If we have some doubt, we just use uh, to actually build for uh, predictions, yeah? Okay, now um, let's see what happens. So now, uh, please. No, just. Okay, now let's see, please. So let's see how we can travel to the future and how can we show to the students in order to travel to the future. Uh, yes, we we have actually we have actually a car, as you know. If you like and that, you know. So we have a car to travel to the future. Yes, but you don't have any right. So what to do? Now we are going to make our own cars in order to travel to the future. So that's integrated with technology. Now you're going to show this part through your lessons now make, with making cars and starting our lesson. And it's going to be much more interesting for the students. Now, Mr. Muhammad will show you these instructions. So here we are. As you see, we have bottle cups, then tubes, and some steak statements, and some steaks and food. In order to, um, yes, to make our car. So you can actually attach from there, if it's possible. Yes, we're trying to 